Whoa, an absolute machine! Hello and welcome back to RC Workshop. Guys, check it out. We have got the Armour Infraction 17th Street Bash V2 Edition, guys. Really excited about this. Finally brought some armor to the channel. Not a Traxxas fanboy, I do like armor as well, but they finally brought out something that I want. Uh, big shout out, big thanks to Appliance Electronics, guys. Check them out, the link will be below. Some fantastic models on there and great prices as well. Let's get this thing on the bench and unbox it, see what's in there. So here we have it, really excited about this one. Looking forward to doing some car park bashing, some big burnouts for you guys as well. I noticed a few of you liking the burnout videos that are already on the channel. Go check them out, but like I say, let's have a look what's in here. So just a bit of box art, what's on there, what's new. Um, we've got black anodized aluminium front and rear shock towers, rear diffuser, large battery trays, uh, five spoke wheels, not that that <laughs> matters because I've got a ton of wheels in the shed, in the workshop that's going to go on this thing to do loads of burnouts as well. I'm not going to keep buying these Hoons tyres and wheels because I will want to get through them real fast. Um, super durable large hubs and centre brace for maximum durability. What else have we got? We got, oh, we got the handbrake feature on this, which is what I was really excited about. There is actually a handbrake, a disc brake on this like a nitro car. So when you press stop on the remote, the brake is actually applied, so that back end slips out. Some nice big diagrams on the side of the box there that you can see that explains more about that. So things are a little bit different in the radio section on this one as well. Spectrum radio with a dashboard on there as well. Uh, AVC, active vehicle control. Um, I think it tells you like your battery levels and everything else on there. So we've got that receiver. And as well as that, the firma software built into the speed control on this one again tells you what your battery levels are like. Um, standard steering servo, 15 kg. I ain't too fussed because this isn't really a basher. It's not going to go off road. That's going to be absolutely fine for car parks and everything else. And a 2,500 kV brushless motor from Spectrum. So you got Spectrum, Spectrum, and Spectrum. And even the uh, servo for steering is Spectrum underneath that armor casing. Let's open this box up. I've talked enough about it. By the way, guys, I have got the silver edition. I just want to see it. Let's get it out. We've obviously got to get these seals open on camera. There's one. Another one over here. Ooh. Another one on the bottom. Another one on bottom left. Let's turn it over and open it up. Ooh, let's get ready for that new car smell. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, baby. Wow, it's massive. Look at the size of that. Oh wow, I like the silver edition. In person guys, this is a totally different machine. Looks different looking at the boxes and everything else. This thing's massive. Let's get it out and chuck it on the table. I can't wait, I'm shaking. <laughs> Before we get it out the main box then guys, let's just check out what is in this side box. Obviously gonna be the normal, but let's check it out. So you've got your manual. Spare body parts by the looks of it. Man, that's a big pinion. Look at the size of that. Stickers. Let's, ha let's open this, let's have a look quickly. Show you what you get. Look at the size of that bloody pinion. It's bigger than the end of my thumb. Yeah, body posts. Some sort of battery flaps and that in there as well. Big wheel wrench and some Allen keys. And the manual. Ooh, let's have a look at this out. Let's smell it. Yeah, nice and new. Oh, we got a foam steering wheel. Foam wheel, guys. Nice. Smart battery level on there. 50, 75, 100 as well. If you want beginners to use it. Power button. Not a switch, a button. Listen. That's nice. And all your adjustments as well. Steering rate, brake rate, steering trim, throttle trim. A quality radio. A and B. Guess what that's probably for? The braking. Wow, I like it. Is that what's this on the top? Dunno, maybe you store your spare receiver or something in there? Body clips or something? Not sure, I'll find out in the manual. Four double A's in the bottom. Gets that on. Right, I'm excited. Let's get this thing get the box on the table. Woo! Oh, let's leave. Oh gosh, that's heavy. Wow, it's stuck to cardboard again. More cardboard. 
Wow! Let's take the camera off the stand and let's take this cellophane off and get closer in. Right, let's remove this cellophane. Oh, whoa, that is so nice. Matte silver with like a camo on it as well. And some stars and stripes thing going on. Look at that! Whoa, that's so mean. Wow. That is a really nice piece of kit. I ain't going to want to use it, but I will. This thing is going to be doing a burnout before you know it. I might just burn these Hoons tyres out just a little bit to get the smoke off them. And then try some other 1.8 tyres that I've got in the shed. Wow, look at that. It's absolutely solid as well. Nice little uh, skid plates on the top as well for if you flip it. Clear wing at the back, I like that. I like these as well. Body clips attached to the shell. Let's take them off. One, two, three, four. Ready? Oh, wow. Look at the size of that bloody motor. Wow. So let's work our way in from the outside. Look at those wheels and tyres. Five spoke black rims. You can see some red metallics coming through as well from them oversized hubs behind. And the tyres. Wow! These are banded tyres as well. Look, I can't, I can't even press to make an impression on the tyres. So high, so thick. Probably wouldn't last two or three minutes on a burnout, but these are banded as well, guys. These have got actual like wire banding inside the tyre. Uh, second thing we can see then is them big, fat, big bore adjustable shocks. Look at them. They are massive in comparison to my finger. They are fat for an on-road RC car. Motor with a big heat shrink jacket on it as well. Just noticed though, unfortunately, my wire has been cut on the heat sink because it's that tight against there. Not to worry though guys, a little bit of heat shrink over that, fasten it back together, no problem at all. And it's only the fan, it's nothing too important. Um, Big fat steel drive shafts all the way around on this. So as you can see, big fat steel drive shaft there. Centre ones, diff, centre one again. As well as that, guys, nice bearing as well, running on that shaft to keep it nice and straight. Spectrum servo for the disc brake. We'll get back to that in a minute. I'm working my way in too quick here. So front, so you've got some nice steering going on there. That's nice. Aluminium steering rack as well. Big, bulky body mounts there. Again, the good thing is flexible as well. That's what you're going to want because this thing will more than likely flip over. Big foam bump front bumper as well. Fingers crossed you won't ever need that. Motor is absolutely huge. Look at that. Wow, Spectrum motor on the back there it says. Let's get in there. Nice. A bit of paper in there as well. That is tidy. Four straps each side for the batteries, one either side. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Differential in the middle of the car with that disc brake. Let's try and get in there. There you go. Disc brake powered by the servo. So when you press brake on your remote, it puts that brake on and locks that back end up. Them tyres are absolutely incredible. Further towards the back of the car, so more bracing. This thing ain't moving nowhere, as well as that, sorry, I forgot to mention. Look at that nice big red bar all the way through. That is really, really nice. Uh, safety first on the back as well. So this little cap, this cover, covers the drive shaft. So where the pin goes in, normally you can lose them, especially at high speeds. There's actually a cover over the top of that as well to keep that in there, just in case it falls out. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. Wow. That speed control. I love the fact that with the aluminium heat sink on the top, they've actually made the Spectrum logo out of the metal. Let's try and zoom in on that there. Come on, focus. There you go. Wow. Really, really nice. Built-in fan again. Again, firmer software. As well as that, we've got another four capacitors on the way into the battery. So there's capacitors inside there, one, two, three, by the looks of it. And then you've got four on the outside as well, in line with the batteries. Uh, like I say, you can put two batteries or you can run it on one. First, for the little mess around for me, because it's been a while since I've been on car park, I'm going to run this thing on 4S. So just the one battery needed. When you want two, 
just pop that out and put the second battery on. Standard armour servo on the front, it is 15 kg though, all metal servo, waterproof as well. That is good enough for a car park machine, it really is. Look at the back diffuser, that's incredible. Sorry to keep moving back and forth guys, really excited about this one. It looks fantastic, let's turn it over. So on the bottom, you can see it's fairly aerodynamic as well. This thing is pretty flat to the ground. What I'm actually going to do is go do a little video for you as well, is cover this in a few sheets of vinyl sheet, just to scratch it, stop a few of the scratches. Um, it's actually a steel plate chassis on the bottom with a plastic diffuser at the back and a bit of plastic in front of the diff at the front. That is really, really tidy. It looks like the Batmobile from underneath. Another nice little surprise when looking over it as well. Aluminium servo horn as stock. How nice is that? Nice little touch there. I like it a lot. Wow. Let's get that body shell back on it. How, how easy does the body shell drop? Oh, look at that straight on it. Wow. That body shell's a masterpiece, guys. Silver as well, so you're going to see that tazzing across a car park. Wow. The new word for today is wow. Look at that. That is fantastic. Underneath this body shell then, more armour details. Don't just bash, blast. Look at this. They've even got little vinyl sheet where the arches might rub the tyres. Nice little details like that. I love it. And where the, uh, the body pins go through the shell as well to stop it rubbing into the paintwork. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Put that back on there again. Ooh. So there you have it guys, just a quick overlook and unboxing of the Armour Infraction V2 Street Bash. Really looking forward to getting a battery in this thing, can't wait to do some burnouts. First thing on the video I think has to be the obligatory burnout. Forget the speed runs, I'm all about the fun around the corners. Anyway guys, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah! Hello, my cabbage. <laughs> 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 <laughs>